I am a broken woman. Oh, you're so cute. When you near me, darling. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Picked up some hair dye. <laughs> Guys, how cute is this? Poppy's new bed, and we know Poppy changes beds a lot, is the dog's bed. How cute! And now she sleeps next to our bed, because that's where this little basket is. I don't know why she suddenly started loving it here, but I kind of love it, because we're all in here in the evening. Basil and Pop can give each other evils. <laughs> Blue Bells in bed spooning me. <laughs> Oh, hello everyone. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am a broken woman right now. I also need to be a little bit quiet because Niall's filming a voiceover downstairs for one of his videos. But, um, oh my gosh. I am a broken woman. I didn't say good morning, did I? No, I didn't. I said hello because it is actually like the evening. It's a very exciting video this week. I didn't do a weekly vlog last week. I feel like I've got so much to catch up with you on. I just don't, I feel like it's not all gonna come out. When I've, when I have loads of things that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to tell them that. I forget it when I turn the camera on. <laughs> but I'm a broken woman this afternoon because I've been filming all day for Beyond. <sighs> I decided it'd be a good idea to, well, it is going to be a good idea, but I thought it would be really fun to do a 14-day glutes challenge um, real-time, though. So I'm filming all these follow-along glutes challenges, and my body is not happy about it. <laughs> I'm so exhausted because my body is that tired now that it's, like, made me tired internally as well. But anyway, that's really boring things to chat about, but it's Tuesday. And it's an exciting day because my mum is actually currently on her way up to our R's because we actually are going into London together tomorrow to try on my wedding dress made. She's made it. So I know I've been in a few times now, but that was like working out and discussing and picking materials for my dress. She's made it. She's actually made it. I'm going to put it on. Oh my god as well. I am actually gonna, um, I was gonna run myself a bath before she comes, but as well, what was the as well? My brain, my brain's not working. I need to not blab too much right now either, because when I'm tired I just get really chatty, weirdly. Um, oh as well, oh, it was supposed to be my hen doing two days. <gasps> Literally, two days from now, we would have been getting on a plane for my Hindu weekend. That's quite sad. I literally realized this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, that is really sad. But we are gonna have like a should have been Hindu thing once we're allowed more than six people together outside. So I think the weekend after next. So that's why we're not doing something this weekend. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> it's all very wedding related at the moment because this would have been the time that we were, you know, doing everything ready for our wedding. But we're not because it was postponed, sadly. But actually, funny story, my manager said she had a look at the weather in Marbella currently and it wasn't that good. So I'm that's where we were having oh actually, it is quite good. <laughs> but we were that's where the Hindu was. And oh my god, hilarious story. It was supposed to be a surprise. And um my manager accidentally left an email on my email account with her, my like work one, where she was emailing people in Marbella. And then also my best friend Bryony, she, you know, I saw her like just after we'd booked it. We were having a chat and she was like, oh, have you booked your flights to Marbella yet? And she didn't know that I already knew, luckily I'd already seen from the email, so she didn't feel so bad after I told her, but I was like, Marbella? <laughs> and I pretended that I didn't know. She was, she felt awful, but I was like, don't worry, I already know because I saw an email. She was like, oh my God. Cause she was, they were all gonna surprise me um, with where we were gonna go. Anyway, I'm literally being the biggest blab on it. I'm gonna run myself a bath and I am gonna soak my muscles cause they really, really need it. Another thing I'm gonna do is have a little play, wait, wait, let's put the bath on first. And then I'm gonna have a little earring chat with you. <laughs> Sounds funny. Also, look at our new shower curtain. Matches the downstairs bathroom that I painted. <laughs> I bought it the other day because our other one was just all ripped. 
and just like not good quality. This one's really good. It's from a place called Junique and I love it. Anyway, let's quickly pop me bath on. My very snazzy fills itself up till it's full bath. How cool is that? It's, it's literally a, a godsend that because <laughs> I used to always nearly overfill my bath. I think today what I'm going to use, oh yes, we have a Dr. Teal's pre and post workout salt that is going in my bath. I am so excited for this bath. And then I'm also going to pop some of this in. I think that's probably it. We'll just overload with the Dr. Teal's because they're really good for the muscles. Anyway, what I was going to do because I, I'm going to have a little bit of an earring change up and I thought I'd have a chat to you about it. Sorry, you're on my desk um, thingy and I'm pushing it, I'm opening it and you're on it. <laughs> yeah, weirdly, one of the most asked things I get is about my jewellery and I, so many people are like, please can you do a whole video on your jewellery that you wear and where it's from, blah blah blah, what, what the piercing was like, was it painful? And um, I just don't think that's going to be that interesting to everyone. So I'm just going to do a quick bit now because those earrings that I got recently from this place which they kindly sent me them these little butterfly ones lolly shop um i'm gonna put them in because i've been waiting to do it with you basically <laughs> two new earrings recently from a place called maria tash so if you can see that lightning bolt which is so pretty if it will focus there we go and then also this little moon oh oh was it gonna focus there we go yeah, so I, I recently got these two from a place called Maria Tash, which is quite quite an expensive but stunning jewellery place. And basically, my friend Holly is just obsessed with it at the moment. I was with her and she just persuaded me to also get some. Um, but they are so pretty. They're, they're actual real diamond, that's why they're quite expensive, but they're so sparkly. I just love them. But um, basically, this one at the top here... I have not been able to find an earring that doesn't give me a headache like it's so annoying but I just find and even that one there I only find hoop earrings are okay in my helix the top ones I would never I don't think I could ever ever get another it piercing at the top it's so painful I know some people don't say it is but it really is I think maybe I've just got a thick thick ear because every earring I put in would just give me such a headache um, but this one actually doesn't and I'm so pleased so we've got that one this one's from Astrid and Mew Astrid and Mew I really like as well however this one here is quite new it's this little star and it's it's lost a gem and I <laughs> I don't think I can take it back because it's been in my ear but I had it like two days and a gem fell out I was really annoyed <laughs> but this little um, hoop here is also from Astrid and Mew and I absolutely love it it's like half gold half Jemmy, really like that one. Anyway, I'm gonna pop, pop in some of these butterflies. I do actually have a pi another piercing here, but I just, I mean, it's quite a new one actually. I can't deal with it. It just keeps getting like a big lump inside. Some of my earrings are so f difficult at just like being all right. <laughs> I also have two of these little things. What are they called again? can't remember but the ones that just like slot on what are they called I can't remember but um they're really good actually I get them from Zara and um they make your ear look very quickly very full if you don't want to like get more piercings they're really good what are they called I can't think of the name if you can think of it comment below what's the name when you have like a I can't remember <laughs> this is this is looking very full now isn't it but this is how we're looking so, as I said, these two are Maria Tash. This one's from Astrid and Mew, up there. This one's from ASOS, no, no, it's from Zara. Then these little butterflies are from Lolly Shop. These little, plain little gold hoops are from Misoma, which, oh, I, I've, my eyes hurt from looking to the side then for ages. <laughs> um, they're from Misoma, which I actually got given to me for my birthday from the people who work with me on my app. And then this side, that's also Misoma, that's Lolly Shop, that one is also Zara, Astrid and Mew, and Maria Tash. And I just, I love them, I love, I love a snazzy ear, I feel like everyone loves a snazzy ear at the moment. Just before I get in my bath, also how cool are these joggers? Wait, let me show you in the mirror, hang on, 
Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look how cool these are. They remind me so much of um, Justin Bieber. <laughs> That's why I got them. They're actually men's from Urban Outfitters, but I really love them. They look really cool when you've got a little crop top on and a really baggy, like, denim jacket. Anyway, don't know who I think I am. <laughs> I am going to grab myself. Flipping egg! It looks like someone's thrown up chef in here. <laughs> Look at all of this. Oh, you won't be complaining when you put it in your gob, will you? <laughs> I'm joking. It's Niall's filming day today, but you have made brownies, and I'm going to take a couple up with me, I think. They're really nice brownies. Yeah, they are. I, I did try one, didn't I? They're healthier, but they're. Look how good these look. Like legit brownies, if you know what I mean. They look really good. How are you? Are you going to tell them what we've been discussing about YouTube? I'm trying to get you in focus. <laughs> are you going to tell them? I'm a bit shy. Why? Bit you shy. Go, well, you've got to do, you've got to break me and I'm not practice what you preach. If you're going to say you're going to be in my vlogs, well, where are you? I just did a whole intro without you, hun. You went upstairs. I'm sat down here working. Yeah, no, I will. I'll get involved. No, I'm joking. Okay. Sometimes it has to be just me. Don't you want me to? Don't you want me to? <laughs> yeah, I do. Me and I were basically discussing how he's going to be in my vlogs a little bit more, aren't you? Yeah. Because he misses vlogging. Yeah, and when we're travelling and stuff. Yeah, so we're hoping to go travelling more than we can. And just do more wet after it was actually after that wedding video, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And we would we just had so much fun. We really enjoyed doing it. And we actually were gonna ask you, is there any other wedding y content that you'd like to see? Do you know what I was saying to what? them? What, what? My hen do in two days, it was supposed to be. <laughs> I would have been on the way to Marbella. Sucker. Excuse me, where's the support? <laughs> well, I've got to do it as well. But you get, a, you get two now. You get your little mock hen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> your your pre-hen. Yeah, I know. Well, the thing is, I was. that's why I was thinking, like, why is so much wedding -y stuff happening right now? But it's because this would have been the sort of real, real big build-up. Because I'm trying on my actual dress tomorrow. Actual dress. It's my real dress. No, it's my dress. That I'm going to be wearing because I've only tried on like the ones that they have in the shop and then they always make the persons. I'm trying mine and it's the one that's custom. What if, what if you want to change it? So yeah, 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 I can still make adjustments. Oh, okay. But it's the first time I'll be wearing it with all of the custom bits that I asked for. Ooh. Anyway, I'm going to take a brownie upstairs or yeah. two. If you guys want to see me then. <laughs> Let me know. So, you might not be in this one that much because I'm going to be with my mum tomorrow in the vlog. So, but it's not going to be like every video, is it? It's going to be like sometimes. No. Or like there's things opening up if we go away for like a day or, you know, I can get involved in the editing a little bit. And I'll yeah, it's actually, we were saying about Niall's, Niall's good at doing the cool edits, unlike me. <laughs> I would love to vlog, right? I didn't, it's not like you I You can pick vlogging. up my camera. No, I would love to just vlog on my own channel, but I just don't have time. So, yeah. it's a way of like helping you out, sort of me doing that little bit of creativity that I like to do with them. Yeah, but we were and also it's fun. saying... That's the main thing, it's fun. No, that's what I was going to say though, it is actually more fun vlogging with someone because yes. you have someone to like bounce off almost and like chat to. So I, I love chatting by myself with you lot though, I have to say. Like when I did that video, sat in the dressing room a few weeks... Oh, <laughs> a few months bouncing off the wall. A few weeks ago when I was sat in there chatting to you lot for ages, I actually loved doing that. I love, I love when I'm, I've got to be in the mood though, because it is really weird just to, to like actually sit there and get in the zone when it is literally just you and a camera sometimes. And you don't feel like you're actually talking to you lot who are actually watching. It's a bit of a funny concept really, isn't it? If someone from the outside, or like a fly on the wall, if they were watching, would be like, that's so weird. She's just like having a great time laughing away as if she's talking to someone and it's just a camera. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I am going to have my brownies in the bath. Which I feel like some people think is really disgusting when people eat in the bath. But I'm not one of those people. I am one of those people that loves to eat in the bath. Actually, do you know what I'm going to take in as well? I'll show you. <laughs> Oh, I need to stop blabbing. We're only at the beginning of the vlog. I am going to take in my Nintendo because I I downloaded Crash Bandicoot 4 on the weekend because it was a bank holiday weekend. That's why it's Tuesday today. And um, I've almost completed it. <laughs> 
It's so good though. Literally so good and it's just such a good switch off. Although I get a little bit stressed sometimes because <laughs> I keep dying. But anyway, I'm going to do that in the bath while I soak my muscles. Oh, we have a visitor. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Come to visit me in the bath. Oh, listen to that licking noise. The bath water tastes good. <laughs> Look, Megan, he's doing it again. He literally thinks bluebells are cushion. Oh, Look. so cute. Bluebells like fuck my life. What's my life coming to? There's the princess of this house. Now I'm a cushion. <laughs> Been demoted from princess to cushion. Oh, my little cutie. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. You think I think Basil's a very handsome, good looking little boy. I do too. Oh bloody hell. She's always about at the moment as well, isn't ya? Come on then. What, you wanna lie on Bluebell as well? Right, before my mum arrives, I'm gonna open up these packages because they have finally arrived from Maison's Demand. So I don't know if you remember me saying, but I did when when we did this room, I did an order and lots of the things had like a three month wait time basically and they've finally come so no hun you literally don't want that <laughs> you trying to kill yourself or what mm -hmm. oh you're so cute <laughs> so we have two baby mirrors here so this one is actually for the downstairs bathroom the one that i put the spotty wall in <laughs> which i think is so cute so these are like mini versions of that bigger one that i got for the hallway i'm just obsessed with a multi-shaped mirror <laughs> and then this one's actually for the fireplace by here which i really really hope will be a good size because we have waited a very long time for this <laughs> do you like it like it's you can you see yourself see that's you because when they're babies they bark at themselves in the mirror don't they oh it's a bit small huh? It's a bit small now. Where are you? I don't know. I waited so long for this. I measured it. <laughs> it's a bit small in it. Yeah. Oh no. I waited oh, so long for no. that. Oh dear. Maybe we'll put it in another room because I really like it. This is the other thing, which is the little outdoor table that I thought would look really nice with the chair set we've already got with the the rug and the pillows and stuff. I haven't yet found new seat pillows. I'm just using the old ones, but they look fine for now. But I feel like that'll look really nice. Don't you think now? Nice little outdoor table there. Huh? I thought it was a lampshade. It was a table. Oh. I it goes on that. I was thinking, bloody hell, what lamps are you? You've been measuring up. Isn't that a nice table? Look, it's like it's a nice like wicker. Taxis here. Yeah, that no, took it, literally wow. forever to come. I'm surprised you like that colour too. No, but it goes with the rugs. You know the rug's got little bits of black on. It all ties together then, doesn't it? Yeah. I literally cannot deal with this scene in Mamma Mia 2. I watched Mamma Mia 2 for the first time on the weekend and then I watched it like three nights in a row. It's... Oh, bloody heck. <laughs> Simpsons is ruining my vibe. Can you hear that? That was Bart Simpson going... Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> But um, I don't know why I've never watched it, Mamma Mia 2. I've watched Mamma Mia 1 and I did like it, but I don't know why I didn't watch Mamma Mia 2. Mamma Mia 2 is so much better than Mamma Mia 1. It just made me feel amazing. I'm going to see if my mum wants to watch it tonight because I have a feeling she actually hasn't seen it either. But this scene, bless Pierce Brosnan. I love Pierce Brosnan because he's my favourite James Bond. Though I try, how can I carry on? Oh, it's so cute! I don't know what it is about it, and him, like, he reminds me a bit of my dad, I think. But anyway, I was actually trying that little section, like, slowed down version of that song on the piano, because I just... I think that's my favourite scene. When you near me, darling, can you hear me? Hazel eyes, 
Because you brought Dill with you. I've made you my special blackberry gin and elderflower tonic. I want to see what you think. Extra strong for mum. Oh yes. Do you like it? <laughs> it's nice. We should yeah. get we could get the pillows and and sit outside. Yeah, should I get a coat? Yeah, it's quite cold. <laughs> no, I've got blankets here. Yeah, I'm gonna set up everything so you can see the little new table. Here we go. All set up. I think that the little table looks really nice with it, doesn't it? Lovely. Mum, have you ever seen Mamma Mia 2? Uh, I don't think so. <gasps> we need to watch it. I've watched it like three times. It He's so happy. Is it? You'll really like it. Piers Brosnan's it. So you like him, don't you? Okay. Should we watch it tonight? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Your glasses on. Did you like Mamma Mia 2? Mamma Mia. <laughs> Take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is where my dance moves are from. Oh, the kick. The kick. <laughs> Those flares really suit you, Mo. Yeah! Do we make it? Like, oh, Flippy. <laughs> Good night, kisses from the twins. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. From our train snacks on the way to London, we have two gins and a tuna sandwich. <laughs> Mum is currently playing Scrabble. <laughs> Who are you playing? One of your friends? Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Mum and Jan are both coming to my hen do, aren't you? Yeah, she's a wild woman. <laughs> we go well together. Oh dear. <laughs> We're in London! Woo! Mum's in London for the first time. In a year. The last time you came was when we had our... Your first My visit. first wedding dress fitting in March last year. Yeah. She's out on the town. <laughs> so we're just about to go in. I'm, I'm so nervous, do you know what, whenever I'm, yeah, I don't know what it is, but whenever I have one of these fittings, I get so nervous I've got butterflies, I don't know why. I'm going to wear a dress today too. <laughs> I want to try on a beautiful dress. <laughs> we'll see fun. if Kate lets you. <laughs> she should. She's got some lovely dresses. <laughs> oh yeah, dress. you know, mum never wore a white wedding no, dress, so. I had a purple suit. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool though. <laughs> I thought was. it was a dress. No, it's a suit. Is it? Oh, we're here. We're here. Here we are. This street's so cute, isn't it, Mum? It's lovely. Yeah. It's like a little Harry Potter street. This is also her shop, and this one. But I think we're in this one. Look at that. Oh my God, that Ooh. looks so cute. Can Look I try at that, that one. On? <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that'll see you. <laughs> You're more of a slinky. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Very. Do you remember? Yeah. It's so lovely. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, do you want over the face? I think I will at one point. <laughs> <laughs> this is the little loop that will hold the dress up when I'm dancing. It's got little hands. butterflies. <laughs> How cute. Oh, Cheers. To wedding dress shopping. I didn't actually get that much footage in there. Oh, oh, we're a bit dark. Because obviously I couldn't show you my dress. But it was really good, wasn't it? You saw a bit of Mum's reaction. Really lovely. That is the first time Mum's seen me in the the dress. Great. Mum didn't try on a wedding dress. <laughs> we didn't really have that much time. We didn't want to. No, but I would have liked to have seen you in a wedding dress too. But anyway, anyway, it was really, really good. And um, I hope you saw some little snippets. But it's always difficult because I don't want to um, like give everything away, obviously. But we're now at Megan's, which is one of our favourites in London, isn't it, Mum? We're actually at a new one that's called The Terrace in Clapham. So cute. Very like holiday vibes. Look what's behind me. Hang on, I'm gonna turn you around. I love those little umbrellas. I really wanted to sit on that table. It looks like holiday, doesn't it? And we have ordered ourselves some espresso martinis. I've got shakshuka. Mum's got shakshumi. <laughs> Is it shakshumi? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Mum's got shakshumi, which is shakshuka with halloumi. And we've got some hash browns, which are so good at Megan's. They're these little mini ones. I love hash browns so much, but yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. To a day out in London. Ching ching. <laughs> Go on then, do it again. What about a day out? Let's Once upon a time. <laughs> And you were living happily in the dark, dark woods. <laughs> what? Going deep, deep, deep. Yes, so <laughs> Mum's had too many espresso <laughs> martinis. Literally, I was like, Mum, let's get a, a story of our drinks. A story as in an Instagram story. <laughs> oh, welcome to the deep, dark woods of our elderflower Collins. <laughs> You weirdo! <laughs> we're having fun! Guess what? We're gonna dye mum's hair when we get home. I know, it's going too pink, it needs to go purple. We've just got home and we picked up some <laughs> hair dye. Not for me. We're gonna dye mum's hair purple. Yay! Because it's looking a little bit It's looking lilac. a little lacklustre. <laughs> no, it looks lilac. It's lilac, yeah. So mum's got this one, which is her favourite. Plum. L'Oreal <laughs> Castings Plum. Interesting after five espresso martinis. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's, it's not very difficult, is it? Oh dear. I'm worried. No, it's fine. Me? No, get down. Get. <laughs> no, that's what you do. Get down. <laughs> Don't get it all. No, no, no. I tried. I tried it. Eyes! I'm nowhere near. I said I'm there. And I'm by the frame. All in my face. Shall I sit? If you can just hover. <laughs> Like a fly. <laughs> <Can't see. laughs> I'm a hover fly. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have a paper fridge and nothing else. Let me finish. Just blame me. This what is your tip. Make sure you get the grey bits I there. Know. <laughs> I haven't got very far yet. I don't know why I put my hair up as if I was doing my own hair. <laughs> Should we do yours? I was getting out the way yeah, actually. Get in, in there. Purple. We could give you a purple streak. No, 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 no. Yes. Remember? Yes! Only if you let me do purple eyebrows. No. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the cool mum on Freaky Friday is literally mum. Oh, right. Okay. Am I done? From three, two, one to lilac slash white. <laughs> to <Yeah>. plum! <laughs> Ready? Purple and it's all steamy. Hang on. Hang on. Let me give it an overview. Ooh. Purple. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> High five. First time doing a purple hair. <laughs> it's alright, isn't it? Good. Yeah, it's better than white lilac grey. No, I actually liked it before. <laughs> Made you look tanned. Yeah, like <laughs> Chef Niles in the kitchen this evening. What's up? What's up? I missed you today. Oh. Have you had a good day looking after the kids? 
the fairy kids. Yeah, they were all very well behaved. Were they? Behaved for Uncle Niall. <laughs> Why are you looking at yourself like that? No, I, was, I can't even see. I was looking at you actually. <laughs> just saw my shape. The shape of my head looks a bit funny. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what are you cooking then? Um, so this is a chicken alfredo, which traditionally is quite unhealthy, but I've managed to make it a little bit lighter. So you made this today for a video, calorific. right? Yeah, I filmed it up, yeah. So what, what is it? Um, so this is just like a, a really basic cheese sauce. Normal recipe has loads of double cream in it, but I took a little bit out and replaced stuff. So it's like milk, cheese, a little bit of double cream. A bit like carbonara. Yeah, but it basically tastes pretty similar to a, a carbonara. Does it? Mm. it and then it. we've got, oh. Well, that, yeah, that does taste a bit like it's carbonara. Oh, I got loads of parmesan, sorry, I forgot that. Oh yeah. That's the main bit. That's what makes it carbonara-y. Yeah. Then we've got chicken. We've got parsley. And um, fettuccine. Yummy, so that's so, what we're having for dinner, isn't it? Yeah. With a bit of football on the side. Champions <laughs> League sponsor. Always the girl. I used to do this in pantomime. You such a bad ass song. Don't touch me, it's not worth Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Look at the monstrosity of my outfit this evening. <laughs> Absolute shocker. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's now the next evening and I realized that I needed to finish this vlog basically because I was editing it and there's no ending except me and mum having a dance. So this is where we're gonna spend the rest of our Friday Eve evening, isn't it? Oh, it was so cute actually earlier. You missed it but Basil was, Basil, Basil, this was the room my mum stayed in with Dill. She went home this morning. By the way, she is my bubble. I realise that I don't really need to say it anymore, but then just in case you haven't heard me say it before and you were confused, she's always been our support bubble. Bu bubble? <laughs> bubble? Bubble? <laughs> bubble. Anyway, she slept in this room and it was so cute. And after they left, Basil was so upset, wasn't he? He was so upset. Yeah, he looked a little bit sad. And he was making little noises at the door, but then I came upstairs later and he was just sniffing all the beds and he could obviously smell dill. Isn't that sad? Mel's not paying much attention to me because he's, he's on the Xbox. <laughs> what? You having fun, love? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look! You little oh. cutie! Oh! to the vlog oh look Basil's got to give her a kiss oh you've got your brother back now they always get too obsessed with each other Dylan and Baz don't they and they leave you out bless you anyway we are going to probably spend the evening here I've actually been filming most of today for the beyond challenge again and um yeah just doing bits and bobs but I think I'm gonna love you and leave you, get my Nintendo out, play Crash Bandicoot, well now plays the Xbox because that's becoming our routine. And I feel like I'm getting... as well just to be more of a lad. Yeah, you know, such a lad these You're days. such a boy. Such a boy. <laughs> Everyone else's boyfriend's just football, Xbox, football, Xbox. Isn't it, Boo? Yeah, it's got me Even Bluebell's over it, aren't you? <laughs> Sad enough. No, look at you. What are you doing? Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Me and Mum were a little bit chaotic yesterday, but it was fun. And I hope you enjoyed coming along the day with us. I do love vlog. Oh, oh, hello. That was nice. <laughs> they fell. She just started giving me a kiss. Mum's not paying attention. Oh, well, she's now licking you. <laughs> Someone's happy today. <laughs> Oh look, bless her. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along the day with us. I will hopefully see you in my next vlog, which I'm gonna film tomorrow actually. That's why I'm finishing this one up, because I'm gonna film another one tomorrow. Oh way. It's gonna mm -hmm. be a good one. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the dogs. <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, the is so yeah, cool. I'll hopefully see you in that video. Thank you so much for watching. We missed you last week in the weekly vlogs, but they're back. And we actually have things happening in our lives, haven't we, Blue? Go and give him a kiss, bye. Go on. Go and give him a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs>